Hello, my friends. Thanks for stopping by. If you're new here, I appreciate you coming by as well. Today I'm in Topaz Photo AI, and I've been playing with this new app. It's a combination of the three different uh, utility technologies that they have, which is denoising, sharpening, and enlargements. And honestly, I'm really enjoying the results. And in fact, I was playing with some old photos just to see kind of what I could do. And these are old photos taken with low quality cameras. So um, I thought I would walk through that and show you some of the powerful outcomes that you can get even with starting with a photo that's not particularly uh, good in terms of the technology that it was captured with. Here's my first example, and this is a shot of my daughter and I, probably 10 years ago, that somebody in the family took with an iPhone 5. The original, as you can see here, is like 1500 by about 1800 pixels. It was cropped slightly. And, uh, you know, this has gone in, and with autopilot, it's basically enhanced resolution by 2.1x and recovered one low quality face. Apparently I have a low quality face, um, but I think the results are great. And what I want to do is go in and actually remove noise. And I'm going to move that up to about, you know, maybe a 25 or so, and maybe actually even sharpen it a little bit, but only uh, like at about a 15 or something. So in other words, autopilot goes in, it automatically, as the name implies, it automatically detects what the photo needs based on AI. It's examining the photo and saying, hey, it's a little noisy or it's not sharp or whatever. Uh, in this case, I wanted to add some additional things, which you know is great because you can customize what you have the app do to your photos. Now also note that up here, it shows subject detected. And if I hover over it, you can see it's pretty much nailed it in terms of what the subject is, which is my daughter and I walking on the beach and it didn't get anything else. I'm really pleased with that. You can go in and refine it depending on the image. Sometimes that works okay and sometimes it doesn't really help a lot in my experience so far. I'm hopeful that in the future they have a brush that allows me to customize the subject itself. But if you take a look at this, I mean, um, I increased the noise reduction a little bit, I added some sharpening, and it recovered my face, and it also enhanced resolution to basically 2x. So if you look at that, I mean, it's a lot smoother, the sand looks better, and if you look at like the back of her hair here, and her shirt, and this floaty thing, uh, as well as me, uh, like my, my hair, and my shirt, and my uh, swim trunks, that just looks really good. So it's allowing me to take a photo, crop it down, taken uh, with an iPhone 5, I think it was a 5, it might have been a four, but something like that. You know, let's call it 10 years ago. But basically taking a low quality photo that was then cropped and then allow me to enlarge it. So if, for example, this was one of my favorite photos of my daughter and I, which it is, then I could go in and get that printed much larger than before. I'm pretty excited about that. I want to show you another example, and this is a kind of an old vintage photo. So here we go. This is an old vintage photo. As I said, no idea what kind of camera it was captured with, because this would have been in the 1930s. Those are my dad's parents. I don't know if that's my dad in the middle there, but um, if so, he's got something a little funny on his head. But you know, look, we're looking at like a 90-year-old photo at this point, something probably close to that. And what was done was uh, it was a physical printout that was then scanned with an old scanner, like an old HP printer scanner thing. My sister had it, and then she sent me, uh, emailed me the photo. So it was pretty low resolution. As you can see here, 722 by 1155. Now, subject was detected, and as you can see there, not a perfect match. And you can refine that, as I said. I talked about that in my last video. I'm not going to go into that. I just want to show you some of the results because I do think they're quite good, even without the subject being perfectly aligned. Um, it's also re uh, recognized two faces. Note that it did not recognize the third one, the baby, but on such a low resolution photo and with a thing on, on his or her head, maybe it was just hard to tell. But it did recognize those two faces and it says it needs to recover them and enhance resolution. It didn't pick up any noise. I'm gonna go ahead and add that because I wanna do that. And I'm gonna go uh, maybe like at about a 35. And while I'm at it, maybe I'll add a slight bit of sharpening, maybe like a 10 or 12. I'm gonna let that apply to the photo as well. And by the way, if you add multiple photos to Topaz Photo AI, you can see down here in the bottom, if you hover over them, the first one, the one on the beach, it says face recovery, denoise, sharpen. It gives you all the different icons and it tells you the percent or the amount of each that was added to the photo. So now on the photo here that I'm hovering over, shows face recovery. I'm doing strong denoise at 35%, uh, motion blur sharpening at 12%, and enhance a low resolution at 3.79x or 3.8x. I'm not sure why it's not a round number of 4x, or I think the other one, the previous one was 2.1x. 
don't really know why it's not just 2x or 4x, but it is what it is. Um, so let's take a look at this photo because I think overall it's done a pretty good job. If you look at my grandfather's face, I mean, that is just so much better. It's really cleaned it up nicely, and I just think that's fantastic. Now, the baby here, that doesn't quite look great, to be honest, and this is where I would personally like a brush mask so I could come in and kind of remove some of that work from the baby because I actually think the baby looks a little bit better uh, without any of these adjustments. Maybe it's just the sharpening. It's hard to tell because I can't mask it in. But if you look here at my grandmother as well, her face was cleaned up really nicely in terms of noise and that sort of thing. Although I see a little bit of artifacts on her dress and her arm. So it's not perfect, but it's definitely an improvement to the photo, at least to the major parts of the photo, like the faces of my two grandparents. So overall, I'm finding it's it's a really useful product and I love, just absolutely love the fact that it's an all-in-one. Now, I know you don't have all the same customization capabilities that you have in the individual products from Topaz, but this is just so much easier and quicker. It's so much more efficient. And for um, for those of us that maybe don't want to spend a whole lot of time figuring out which app do I need, oh, is it a little bit of noise reduction or does it need to be sharpening? And by the way, there's a little bit of each in the other apps and which one do I use and in what order and all that. It just does it all for you. That's what I like about it. And the autopilot, because it's using AI, it's detecting what needs to be done to the photo. Now, in the case of both of these photos, I went in and did some more things on uh, sort of on my own, but I love that it basically figures it out for you. So it's one stop for this photo quality improvement, which I think is great. I would love to see some enhancements to the app, as I talked about in the previous video, and as I said here, which is specifically masking and being able to more uh, specifically customize what the subject is, how that's detected, because it's not even hitting all of uh, her face or the baby's face, things like that. So definitely some improvements, I think, but they say on their website that they will continue to update the other three apps, but not as frequently as they update this one. So this one's definitely the future, and in fact, they say that on their website that eventually this is going to be the primary product. Something to that effect. I don't remember how they worded it, but I read it and said, oh, okay, Photo AI is eventually going to replace those other three. And from a workflow perspective, totally get that and appreciate that and applaud that. I do hope there'll be additional customization options in the future, and I think that there probably will be. Anyway, I wanted to walk through that because I'm seeing some nice results on some really old photos taken with low-quality cameras or low-quality scan job, all that kind of stuff. So I'm pleased with what I'm seeing so far. Hope this gives you some ideas if you aren't familiar yet with Topaz Photo AI. And by the way, there is a link down below. It's still on special, and I'll put that in the comments as well. So if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching, my friends. Hope you're doing well. Take care of yourselves out there. I'll see you soon. Until then. Adios.